This can be a bit of side relief considering Team Forever will at least have some information on the foes. R4W, Superman knocked out. The rest of the players trying to back him up instantly, but they're also in a big sandwich between Godlike and RMP Mizzo. And for RMP Mizzo, this is exactly what they've been waiting for. Even Metal Esports, they chime inside of the fight. This is the most brutal position to be in. Raw official not having a fun time over there. And Jonathan, he wants his share as well. The nade lob. Does he find that frag for his team? And look at RP Miso. They have lost two players now. The backstab from Metal working out perfectly in the favor of Godlike. They have six eliminations on the board already. They indeed do. Jonathan looking forward to tossing One another more. nade. And this might just find the closure. Oh, undershoot. Yashu still alive, at least trying to patch himself up slowly and steadily. R4 W on him thinks so there's no bouncing back from here. Jonathan, the nades placed to perfection. It finds the knockout. One more man of close and personal. And Jonathan still not able to find that mark. But this nade might just seal the deal. It's being tossed to that perfect spot. Yashu once again repositioned at the nick of time. And look at this fight that's currently going on. Metal Esports up against their opponents, RP Miseram. And RP, they're doing some serious damage against them. It's all down to Encore. Yeah, everyone's fighting each other and the the only team that is taking full advantage of all of this chaos was Team Godlike until now, but here they come, Team Forever, they show up, they're going to look for those frags, and they found a few as well, Jonathan taken out, Admino not in a good spot, he gets knocked out as well, and Team Forever, three to four finishes can be secured from this entire fiasco, Omega in the back lines need to take care of Flick, and with that, RIP Mizo, they are out, Metal, they are out as well, and along with them, Zero recall, they have been completely eliminated from the game too. And for now, focusing on this fight, RIP against the side of Seven Shores. Both these teams had the same game plan to play with, but eventually it's probably going to be the side of RIP to come out on top, as they've already managed to find the opening. The man's inside of the smoke for now, it's just constantly nice. going for the spam as well, and Flick YT just blows up that vehicle, he gets the knockout, the confirmation is not that far away. Indeed it isn't. As Toxic, he needs to retaliate back and for the players of Rush if possible. You've got Flick. He's holding on. The captain, he's thrown his hat into the ring. And now he wants to get some uh, nice juicy finishes for himself. As Toxic, still alive though. But for how long? Aru already down on his knees. And Rush if possible. They will have to execute this rush in order to make sure they've got things at bay. Need to recuperate a little bit, but Aru does not have enough time as this grenade could be devastating. And indeed it is. Flick leading the charge, has managed to find the knock though. But look at UP50, they're making those moves out there. They really want to get inside the circle and rush if possible. Lord, he's got some HP to work around with. Couple more grenades and that could be it. Seven shores. Toxic, the only player left alive. And his teammate is begging for that revive. But there's a high chance as and as he goes for that revive, the spam might just come through the smoke. RIP, even the backs are looking quite exposed. They need to be very off the back lines too. There's another team right there. The circle once again shifting towards the city. So that's a good news for all the teams that, that are playing inside of the city. But there's still a decent amount of teams being left out from that zone. A push comes through. Seven Shorts once again starting to face the front. It's quite a dicey spot to come out on top for him. But RIP, they're taking a lot of damage themselves. M4 versus M4 up close and personal. And this time it's going to be Aru to come out on top in that fight. RIP, what a big blunder this is. This indeed is. Where are the remainder of the players? Nirvana all out in his open. And he gets picked off. But look at the circle shift. Team Forever have some... One thing they missed out on was the fact that all right, from round three to round four, the teams have just gone absolutely insane. But look at that, we have the next shift. It's quite a central one, but Prime Esports now. They are in a fight of their own against Rush, if possible. Two players knocked out, two behind the hill spotted out as well. This should be an easy wrap-up for the side of Prime Esports. Brooks going for the push by the time Lord brings his HP back up. Brooks would already be at the top and in fact he does get finished off. Flick YT, the last man left standing Aww. and he's going to be run over. All four eliminations wrapped up and it took about well less than 30 seconds. I love this. I love this from Prime Esports. They've decided, I, I think they were overthinking in that game of Miramar. Could not get <laughs> enough yeah. points but this time rush if possible. Mizo. oh my god.